Now in this scenario the next thing that is of interest is to find the neutral axis of the cross section okay. When the beam was bending along one direction okay the neutral axis was a straight and parallel to the or perpendicular to the uh, line of the action of the load okay. Now in the bending is about two directions neutral axis will be an inclined neutral axis inclined to both the directions of the load. So, we want to find what is the orientation of the neutral axis of neutral axis ok. We saw that neutral axis is the axis about which the stress is 0 ok. We saw the definition that neutral axis is the line in the cross section along which normal axial normal stress is 0 ok. So, you know that sigma x x has to be 0 along the neutral axis location ok. When the beam was bending along only one direction when you add sigma x x u 1 by y minus y naught m z by i z z you know if this is 0 this implies y equal to y naught and that was the definition of the neutral axis. Now, when sigma x x is given by a complicated equation or is given by this case special case where given by the special case where i y z is 0 and there is moment along both the directions m y and m z moment then what is the neutral axis? Neutral axis would be minus y minus y naught I left a negative sign here y minus y naught m z by i z z plus z minus z naught m y by i y y has to be equal to 0 ok. This implies z minus z naught by y minus y naught must be equal to i y y by i z z into m z by m y ok. Now, what is this y equal to m x plus c where c is the origin. Now, this is the slope of the line ok, this is tan beta that is if I have a cross section, if I have a cross section with y and z oriented like this ok, this equation in here, this equation in here represents the equation of a line whose slope is beta equation represents equation of this line ok, whose slope is beta measure from y like this ok, whose slope is beta measure from y like that given by that equation in here. So, basically you have rearranging this equation z is equal to y minus y naught tan beta plus z naught where this position is y naught z naught ok. That is y naught z naught if you are taking it as an origin y naught and z naught are 0 and this represents the tan beta ok. So, the stress sigma x x is 0 about this line about this line the stress sigma x x is 0. So, this is the neutral axis of the cross section ok. Unless unlike the shear centre unlike the centre of the cross section the neutral axis depends upon the loading ok. It depends upon the bending moment m y and m z that comes in the cross section then 
orientation of the neutral axis will change with the loading okay this is the important point to be noted neutral axis is not a geometric property it is a load dependent property okay so basically that represents the equation of that line and that is the neutral axis that is the axis about which the axial stresses are zero okay now let's consider the general case in the general case what happens the general case i'll get tan beta as again z minus z not by y minus y not which will be tan beta in the general case would be by general case i mean this expression i i am going to now equate this to zero and write z minus z not by y minus y not as this divided by this expression in here okay so that will be i y y m z plus i y z m y divided by i y z m z plus i z z m y okay so this is the general orientation of the neutral axis this expression gives expression for orientation of the neutral axis okay so this gives the orientation of the neutral axis okay so now what we have seen is we have seen what happens when there is loading along the principal axis both the principal axis of the cross section we got the expression for stress and we generalize to the case where the loading was supplied in one direction not necessarily along the principal axis direction and we got an expression for that and then we found the expression for the neutral axis now in a practical problem there are two ways of solving a problem okay you can choose any axis for a given orientation of the load okay and then you can say that find all the moment of inertia cross moment of inertia and i y y i z z moment of inertia and then substitute in the general expression and solve for a problem in a general manner the second approach is you find the principal axis of the cross section resolve the loads or moments along the principal axis of the cross section and use only the principal axis the first equation that we derived in today's lecture to solve the problem okay in the next lecture what we'll do is we'll take a specific example for angle section and solve it when it is loaded about one of the legs and when it is loaded about one of the principal directions to find a displacement as well as the moment and stress expressions okay thank you